All of us are aware of five basic senses seeing, feeling, smelling, tasting and hearing. But there is also another sense called the sixth sense. It is basically a connection to something greater than what their physical senses are able to perceive. To a layman, it will be something supernatural. Sixth sense is a wearable gesture. Its user-friendly interface links the physical world around us with digital information and uses hand gestures to interact with them. In a simple way, a gesture-controlled wearable computing device that feeds you relevant information and turns any surface into an interactive display called the sixth sense. And actually, if you see, there are some color markers that in the beginning version we were using over there. You can carry your digital world with you wherever you go with you. You can start using any surface, any wall around you. The camera is actually tracking all your gestures. Whatever you are doing with your hands, it's understanding that gesture. You can start painting on any wall, that you stop by a wall and start painting on that wall. Technically, it's a little bit so complex, but it gives you an output which is more intuitive. But we are not only tracking here one finger, we are giving you the freedom of using all the both of hands. So you actually can use both of your hands to zoom into or zoom out a map just by pinching operation. But I'm more excited that you can actually take it outside. Rather than getting your camera out of your pocket, you can just do the gesture of taking a photo and it takes photo for you. And later I can find a wall, anywhere a wall and start browsing this photo. And of course, if you don't have any surface, you can start using your palm for simple operation. I'm here, I'm dialing a phone number just using my hand. The camera is actually not only understanding your hand movements, but interestingly, it's also able to understand what objects you are holding in your hand. What we are doing here is actually, for example, in this case, the book cover is matched with so many thousands of, or maybe millions of books online and checking out which book it is. Once it has that information, it finds out more reviews about that, or maybe uh, New York Times had a sound over you on that, so you can actually hear on a physical book as a review Churchill of a sound. Gave a famous talk. This was Thank Obama's uh, last visit uh, last week. Thank you, MIT. MIT. And in particular, I want to thank two outstanding uh, MIT. So I was seeing the live Eric. of his talk outside uh, in just a newspaper. Your newspaper will show you live of your weather information rather than having updated like a you have to check your computer in order to do that, right? When I'm going back, I can just use my boarding pass and to check, uh, oh, my flight has been how much delayed? Because at that particular time, I'm not feeling of opening my iPhone and checking out a particular icon. The fun part is like I'm going to Boston Metro and playing Pong game inside the train on, on the ground, right? And I think the imagination is the only limit of what you can think of when this kind of technology merging with the real life. You can of course watch movies. Good afternoon. And you can of course play games. Uh, okay, you can browse, yeah. I can just pinch that information back to my desktop so that I can use my, my full-size computer. Sorry for the inconvenience. As you can see here, we have already assigned four different color markers which will move according to our hand gesture. The first application which we will show you here is Jafan. It is that application which will detect your hand gesture and the camera will take that information and put it in that particular coding coded device. If I have I'm moving my one finger it will move according to my different fingers and different movements according to that gesture. Similarly, this is the paint application. You can draw it over your simple hand, I mean your own finger, which you have already assigned that. Uh, it takes a lot of practice to draw perfect as I'm a mature, so <laughs> I can't draw that much perfect because it needs a lot of more practice in this particular field. So it's the thing, I have something scribbled over there. Yeah, time to huh, make it something else. Try to check it out on another app. 
our next step is map map application scrolling at any desired location so the map application provides you the digital information directly from the web for this software i mean for this device the internet connection is must if we didn't get any internet connection we can't open this software i mean did this coded product as you can see i have just zoomed out the map i have i have loaded my desired location and i am scrolling over there and i am trying to find something there something my new location or trying to build it i mean build that gesture see from only one finger i can scroll i can also scroll with both of my hands trying to zoom in but it is still scrolling because it needs a lot practice to do a perfect hand gesturing if we are trying to do this perfect we need practice this is the major application capturing photo uh, that guy is my partner I mean my second mate so if you want to take a photo just move the camera in front of that object as one of my friend is over there looking into the camera just take your hands I mean take your hands in front of the camera and do the gesture do the gesture of taking a photo and it takes a photo of it so simple it is but sometimes sometimes it's happened and sometimes you have to be more precise while capturing the photos if it is not placed properly or something else it wouldn't work you have to place it properly one by one finger and if once it is put in the self timer is automatically gets activated as you can see here three two one photo is captured and this photos were basically stored in that coded device you can browse also that from the explorer menu now that two basic thing virtual watch if you haven't your, you have forgot your watch you just see the time virtually on your hand by simply projecting that watch on your hand and you can get the real time without having a watch so simple it is just it's simple uh, hmm? and another application is weather application which will give you the live weather update Weather update. 